First day of school! Y'all yeah, just finished my first day of class, my only class today. It was Cantonese, but it was really cool. But running up here was not it. Like, I was so sweaty because I'm not used to this humid weather. We're gonna go get our COVID test done, and then that's the rest of my day, basically. Y'all leave home, I know. <laughs> we are trying to eat food. After our COVID test, we were kind of hungry, and there's a food court right next to the testing center, so we figured we'd give it a look. But on the menu in Cantonese, and there were no photos to reference, so it's kind of hard to communicate. So we decided to go back to campus and try the canteen. So here you see where you have to go. It's so wet and heavy. Uh -huh. Oh, I got it. All right, thank you so much. right now and I just got lunch for the first time. It was kind of hectic. I felt kind of pressured to just choose because everything's so fast paced. Here's the food. I got my Thai chicken curry with potatoes and a pizza soda. Just got done eating lunch and now I'm going to go for a little bit. I think the first half I need to do is go to the main library to see if I can even get in. After that, it's all whatever. After we were all done classes, we wanted to explore campus a little bit, so we went to HKU's visitor center to see what merch they had. They had some cute plushies and clothes, so I'm definitely gonna have to take another look before I head back. The last task on our list of things to do in order to get settled into Hong Kong was get a SIM card, so we headed over to Circle K and got that sorted out. Afterwards, we went to Central and found some tacos. Okay, here we are. All this way for this restaurant. Yes. Hi y'all, we are getting dinner. It's super dark. We're getting tacos and they can't. They can't. <laughs> hey y'all, it's my second day of class and I'm going by myself because I have class really early today but I'm about to go get breakfast and then head to class right after. There's actually a group chat of exchange students at HKU, so I decided to eat lunch with them. I didn't get any footage, but I got barbecue pork for the first time. Now I'm off to meet another friend so we can just eat again and go back to our hotel. Yeah, we just got our first boba in Hong Kong at Gongsha. And like how it looks. Be cool, huh? One of the things I've been wanting to do in Hong Kong is go to an arcade and there are signs all around Hong Kong that say game arcade but it ends up looking like this so nothing that I am looking for. Later in the night we decided to explore Shang Wan which is where our hotel is located and we were looking for dinner, we settled for Korean and I got the beef baby bap. So this is the food menu at HKU. There's like a few different categories and it's really cool because there's like so much and 
It's pretty cheap actually. But I think today I'm gonna go for the karage chicken because I've been craving curry. So let's do that. I'm gonna get the kumcha lemon actually. Find in with the handy dandy octopus card you can pay. Here, I'm gonna get that. And then printing receipts. There we go. Okay, and it gives us a number. So we have to find number E and go there. Okay, so I got E, so I'm gonna go right here. And this is the food. This is the karage chicken with the kumkwa lemon soda. And what did you get? I got duck and barbecue pork with seasonal vegetables and green tea. Mmm, yum. After lunch, our friend told us about this mall that was near HKU called Westwood. So we decided to check it out. They have clothes, books, and even have a grocery store. So everything you can need. We just got our student IDs after like, I don't know how long, but I'm so excited because this is the start of actually being a student over here. Y'all, this is the line for the subway. Whoa. Dinner! This is ramen with chicken skewer and pork, and I got the red bean sea seeds. It's my first time. Surprisingly, it's a little cheaper, so I'm excited about that because pens in America are like around like I don't know, I like around five dollars, but over here it's one dollar. So of course I'm gonna grab one. Look how big this mall is! I swear, like I've so many malls, and I'm excited to see. Okay, y'all, I know that it's strange, but this is seriously the nicest bathroom I've ever seen. Our AC was broken. Even though it's on, it just wouldn't blast cool air. So we told them, and they offered a free room for the night. Hey y'all! I'm about to go to the library for the first time because I have my ID card and I can scan it this time. I just got out of the Swire Hall music room and that was a pretty fun experience. That was like my first time playing the piano in such a long time and like being able to sing out loud, that was so great. And I realized that as I'm like moving throughout all this stuff, like I don't really have any space to like sing and perform. So I'm really glad that there's a place on campus where I'm able to do that. Yeah, I just got done 
some work at the library and now I'm going to my first meeting with the organization. So the dance club is having this dinner. So I'm gonna join it and it's gonna be worth it and it shall be fun. And I hope I come out meeting some new people and getting full. <laughs> I just got back to the train station from the dance meeting and it was so fun. I love everybody's vibe over there and I'm excited to start clapping actually did talk to people. But on the way back, this is probably the latest I've been out, let alone like the out by myself. But I'm excited. And this is actually our last night in the hotel. We're moving into our dorms tomorrow. This is our last day at the hotel and we're about to once we all get ready, we're gonna move into our dorm. Bye hotel. We shall see you soon. Into our dorms. Oh, that was such a process, but we finally made it. I'm getting ready to get settled down. You know, funny enough, this is actually the shirt I wore to so arrive in Hong Kong. I remember. Wow. Whoa. It's hot. <laughs> 